Since I became the KOL of Creality, in addition to introduce the Creality Printer, I also share my experience of 3D printing with you. For example, I analyze with you using different brands of PLA and using different models of printers. What are the differences? I received many inquiries when to introduce other printing materials. In fact, Carlos has some experience in printing TPU. Today, I plan to share my experience with you. Just a reminder, if you like the channel of Carlos the Organ Man, please click the subscribe in the lower right corner. If you want to be notified of new videos as soon as possible, please click the bell. You are also welcome to add likes and comments. Printing TPU is much more difficult than printing PLA. Firstly, it has higher melting point. Second, because TPU is soft, problems often occur during extrusion. Because of this, even if you use other brands of PLA, there's no problem. But if you don't use Creality's TPU, the success rate is very low. Today I received the materials sent by Creality. I can share with you. Maybe TPU is not as widely used as PLA. So Creality doesn't give me many colors. This time I received blue, red, and orange. Comparing the texture of PLA and TPU, you will find that TPU is much softer. No sound when shaking, but shaking PLA will make a sound. Let's reveal my commentary in the Titans video. The texture of PLA is relatively brittle and it breaks easily. I have another material here called TPU. It is a soft material, suitable for printing flexible objects. You can't have the cake and eat it. This printer is designed to print PLA, so a white tube is used. The tube is called a PTFE tube. It guides the material to the print head. But if you use TPU, it may not be able to extrude because it will bend and curl. That's why we have to buy Titan print heads. The Titan head is a near end print head. This is the Titan head. It's actually a stepper plus a gear unit. You should also notice that. TPU printing speed cannot be fast, generally between 35 and 45 mm per second. This baby elephant needs 17 hours to print. After watching my previous video, you should know when you print TPU. It is better to use near-end print head. Unfortunately, only CL series can install Titan heads. As for the Creality and the series I've been introducing, Creality does not provide Titan head accessories. If you only have Ender machines at home, it is really impossible to print TPU. Carlos will verify with you today. You may go to Thingiverse to research what device or accessory is suitable for TPU printing. Obviously, elasticity is a demand. Like this wire strap or some mask accessories that need to fit the shape of the face. Wear accessories such as hand straps also need to be printed with soft materials. So I downloaded a set of wire straps. Open in cooler. For consumables, I choose TPU95A. When the material is selected, the temperature is set to 228, a temperature very suitable for printing TPU. According to my previous experience, change the printing speed from 50 mm per second to 30 mm per second. If using near-end printing, this setting has no problem. But now I plan to use Ender 3V2's remote print head to print this red TPU. Good luck to me! Since TPU is really soft, just squeezing out the old material has meant me a lot of time. Please remember that the temperature must be adjusted to about 240 when proceeding. Otherwise, it is easy to block the print head. Now the red TPU has squeezed out the black material. Because I was worried, therefore I set the printing speed of the printer from 100 to 30 before printing. Even if printing is successful, it takes 3 times longer. What's more gratifying is that it can fit and print. Comparing with using Titan Head with other brands of TPU, seems to be easier. The time is sacrificed. I print 2 pieces of wire strip. It took me almost 4 and a half hours. Because the material is soft, there's no problem when peeling. 
Very easy. TPU is useful. Can really be used to mount the wires. TPU is also non-toxic. I think it's suitable to print children's toys with it. And its soft texture should be fun. Like this little elephant, I have ever used other brands of TPU to print. The effect was good. But according to curious setting, basic printing time is 9 hours. If you set the printing speed to 30, it takes more than 20 hours. So I took the risk and set the printing speed to 50. According to the calculation, it would take about 18 hours. What surprised me was, even if printing speed is set to 50, the effect is not bad. Since this is the first time I use remote printing to print Elevon, I can only compare with the Elevon using Titan. Titan's Elevon is of 0.1 layer. This one is of 0.2 layer. Not much difference. Only this red material is translucent. And I set the shell to be thin. It is like see-through. In terms of softness, the Creality TPU is softer. To further improve the effect, the experiment cannot be stopped. Now I switch to Brew TPU. Still using the previous settings. Print for 18 hours. Sure enough, there's no translucency problem. Comparing three together, I still think the one with near-end printing is smoother. Because 0.1 layer was used before. But if you use super quality to print Brew TPU, it takes more than 30 hours. I also tried to do the experiment. According to visual inspection, there's little difference between super quality and normal. After printing, you will find that super quality is indeed smoother. But is it worth spending more than 10 hours for this? Different people have different opinions. To do a full set of experiments, I will use the third material, which is this translucent orange TPU. This time I hold the mentality of experiment, restore printing speed to 100. Try to guess what the effect will be. This is out of my expectation. Not only can print, but also very beautiful. Only 9 hours in time. I put them together. The one using printing speed 100, print for 9 hours, is the most beautiful one. Okay, the dozens of hours of printing before have been wasted. To prove whether the orange material is particularly good, to use the speed of 100, I used blue for control in my last experiment. Use 100 speed to print again. Look! It turns my world upside down. Even remote printing can use the near-end speed. And get this effect. The three little blue elephants use the same TPU. The one in the front took only 9 hours. The others two took 18 hours and 30 hours respectively. You can look and compare which is the best. Finally, I revealed all the experiments I have done. Let you refer to the parameters when you print in the future. At the end, I will switch to another machine, that is Ender 3 Pro, print with the same setting. Also success! After days and nights, I've been using different colors, different printing layer, and even control the speed of the printer. I really can't believe this result. The conclusion is that whether you are using near-end or a remote print head, in addition to control the temperature and printing speed. The use of material is the most important factor. No matter what model you plan to use in the future, near-end printing or remote printing, hope my TPU printing experiment can give you some reference. If you like my video, please subscribe, like and share.